Rayner, Hayes, Bonner and Dallin. Four names expected to be among the top echelon in this year's draft. For North, with picks 4 and 21, any one of these young guns could be an ideal fit. Quite excited with our position in the draft. Um, pick 4 is the, the highest pick we've had for a long time. Really confident we'll get a good player at pick 4 and, and 21 is a fantastic pick as well. I think it was a, it was a terrific experience. I think it gives me a lot of confidence uh, moving forward. Yeah, just excited to see what happens in the next couple of months. I'd be very honoured to, to go to an AFL club and I'd, I'd love the environment. Many experts have Cam Rayner as the likely number one, despite the dynamic midfielder sitting out the combine with a sore knee. Cam's a very explosive player, a super talent, uh, very quick, great vertical leap. Kicks multiple goals when forward, but he has shown this year he can go through to midfield and, and really make an impact in there. On Friday, midfielder Dylan Moore took out the title as the distance king in the two-kilometre time trial as the Roos recruiters watched on. Fellow prospects Lockie O'Brien and Andrew Brayshaw also putting their names up in lights with an impressive time. With North already boasting plenty of inside grunt, perhaps a player like Aidan Bonner could be on the club's draft radar. The Dandenong Stingrays midfielder excelled in the sprint and agility tests and set a combine record in the standing vertical jump. I believed coming in I could win the standing vert. Um, with my PT, I've been working pretty hard with it in the sprint. So, yeah, I built a lot of confidence from this uh, combine and throughout the year. The draft is still 49 days away. And for the North recruiters, there's still plenty of work to be done. Yeah, it's a pretty big exercise, the, uh, the four or five days here. Um, we've, got a, we've got a pretty strong recruiting team, really well resourced, and got a group of guys that do fantastic work, five or so uh, full-time recruiters that are here, as well as a couple of others that aren't, aren't here. They're in the background doing some other stuff back at the club. And then, um, of course, we've got our medical team and the media team that spend some time here as well. So, yeah, it's a big exercise. The final list of names still to be whittled down before the ultimate call is made on the night. I think it's been pretty well documented that we've um, had a bit of a focus on trying to improve our midfield. But I think on draft night, uh, the most likely scenario is we, when we get to pick four in particular that we'll probably just pick the best player available, I think. And then um, from there, what you do with pick four has an impact on, on what you do with your other picks later on. From the 2017 NAB AFL Draft Combine, Rob Burton for nmfc.com.au.